Hi students, today our topic is general form of infinite limits. So now let us consider a limit. A limit extends to infinity a naught x power m plus a1 x power m minus 1 plus and so on am divided by b naught x power n plus b1 x power n minus 1 plus and so on bm. So as we all know that as x value approaches to infinity then what is 1 by x? approaches to 0. So, this is the main condition here we are using. Then solve this limit. Limit extends to infinity. Now take x power m common in the numerator. What we get? a naught plus a1 divided by x plus. Why? Because it is x power m minus 1. Then it is nothing but x power m by x. Now we are taking common x power m. That is why a1 by x plus and so on it is a constant a m by x power m coming to the denominator take x power in common b naught plus b 1 by x plus and so on b n by x power m now as x value approaches to infinity then 1 by x is what 0 which means that 1 by x equal to 0, 1 by x square is what? 0, 1 by x cube is what? 0 and then finally 1 by x power m is also equal to 0 which results limit extends to infinity x power m by x power n is what? x power m minus n into see a naught is a constant plus a 1 by x is what? 0 plus a 2 by x square is what? 0 plus and so on till the end it is 0. Coming to the denominator, b naught plus 0 plus and so on, 0. And finally, what we get? Limit extends to infinity x power m minus n into a naught by b naught. Okay. So, the result of this uh, limit can be get by three cases. Now, one is if m equal to n. See, if m equal to n, what happens? m minus n is equal to 0. Then, from this, limit x tends to infinity x power m minus n is what? 0. That is why x power 0 into a naught by b naught. Then, anything power 0 is what? 1. So, 1 into a naught by b naught. So, a naught by b naught. So, it is a finite value a finite value. Now, coming to the case 2, if m less than n, for our comfort, I take values for m and n, if m equal to 2 and n equal to 5. And see, limit extends to infinity x power m minus n. What is m? 2. What is n? 5. So, that 2 minus 5 into a naught by b naught. Okay. Then, x power 2 minus 5. 2 minus 5 is what? Minus 3. Then, limit x tends to infinity. x power minus 3 is 1 by x cube into a naught by b naught. So, we already know about as x well approaches to infinity, 1 by x is what? 0 and 1 by x cube is also equal to 0. That means, 0 into anything is equal to 0. That means, if m less than n, this limit is equal to 0. Coming to the case 3. So, this is the very very important case. If m is greater than n, that is, if m equal to 5 and n equal to 2. I take 5 and 2. If you want, you can you can get take any values. Limit extends to infinity x power m minus n. m is what 5? n is what 2? 5 minus 2, 3 into a naught by b naught. Then as x value approaches infinity, x cube. But what? As x value approaches infinity, x cube is infinity. So, infinity into some a finite value is going to be infinity. 
but here we find this value by using two cases that one first one is if a naught by b naught or a naught into b naught is less than 0 then limit x tends to infinity into x cube times of a naught by b naught is equal to minus infinity why because a naught by b naught or a naught into b naught is less than 0 then limit x tends to infinity of x cube into a naught by b naught is equal to minus infinity coming to the second case why because it is negative since it is negative then the result is minus infinity then coming to the second case if a naught by b naught or a naught into b naught is greater than 0 then limit x tends to infinity a naught by b naught times of x cube is equal to plus infinity ok so it is very very clear that if m equal to n the limit of this function is equal to a naught by b naught that is a finite value if it is a finite value clearly m equal to n if it is infinite clearly m is greater than n ok ok we will solve some problems by using a infinite limits concept so first one is limit x tends to infinity 5x to the power of 4 plus 3x square plus 9 by minus 3x cube plus 4x square plus 5 the first thing is see the highest degree in the numerator is 4 and the highest degree in the denominator is 3 it is very very clear that m is greater than n and then one more thing is what is a naught here 5 and what is b naught minus 3 then a naught into b naught is equal to minus 15 that is it is what less than 0 then coming to the second condition in m greater than n that is if a naught into b naught is less than 0 the result is equal to minus infinity ok now coming to the second problem so this is a very very important concept that is limit x tends to infinity of x square plus x plus 1 by x plus 1 minus ax minus b is equal to 4 see here the limit value of this entire function is equal to 4 4 is what a finite number it is very very clear that 4 is a finite value so please keep it in mind it is a finite value now coming to the left hand side as x value approaches to infinity the separately if you take separately this entire function should be approaches to infinity and this entire function should be approaches to infinity so infinity minus infinity is equal to some indeterminate form so that's why i can evaluate like this limit x tends to infinity take x plus 1 lcm coming to the numerator x square plus x plus 1 minus of ax plus b into x plus 1 is equal to what 4 now limit x tends to infinity x square plus x plus 1 minus ax times of x minus ax square minus ax minus x square oh sorry minus bx minus b whole divided by x plus 1 is equal to what 4 now limit x tends to infinity so now take x square common that is 1 minus a into x square take x common it is here 1 minus a and minus b into x plus 1 minus b divided by x plus 1 is equal to 4 so here 4 is a finite value 
if you want a finite value what is m and what is n what is the relation between m and n that is m equal to n already we known if m equal to n the resultant should be a finite value but here the highest degree in the numerator is 2 the highest degree in the denominator is 1 so that it is not possible to get a finite value if we want a finite value we can remove this coefficient complete value why because if you remove this what we get 1 minus a minus b into x plus 1 minus b by x plus 1 then the highest degree in the numerator is 1 and the denominator is 1 now it is possible so if you want to eliminate this 1 minus a is equal to 0 which means a equal to 1 it is not possible to get a finite value unless otherwise it is equal to 0 that is why we take 1 minus a is equal to 0 and then finally what we get after this limit x tends to infinity 1 minus a minus b into x plus 1 minus b by x plus 1 is equal to 4. So, coming to the left hand side the highest degree in the coefficient is x power 1 and here 1 then what will get 1 minus a minus b divided by 1 is equal to 4 why because it is a a naught by b naught what we get a naught by b naught and here what is a is equal to 1 then 1 minus 1 minus b is equal to 4 now 1 1 get cancelled minus b equal to 4 which means b equal to minus 4 here a equal to 1 and b equal to minus 4 so this our answer is second option now coming to the third problem so it is a different value that is limit n tends to infinity 2 into 3 power n plus 1 minus 3 into 5 power n plus 1 by 2 into 3 power n plus 3 into 5 power n now 2 into 3 power n plus 1 is what 3 power n into 3 minus 3 into 5 power n into 5 divided by 2 into 3 power n plus 3 into 5 power n now see what happens limit n tends to infinity take 5 power n common in the numerator what we get 2 into 3 6 into if you take 5 power n common what we will get 3 by 5 whole power n minus 3 into 5 it is 15 divided by into the, coming to the denominator take 5 power n common if you take 5 power n common here 2 into 3 by 5 whole power n plus 3 5 power n 5 power n gets cancelled see what happens as n value approaches to infinity 3 by 5 whole power n is approaches to 0 and 5 by 3 whole power n is approaches to infinity that is why I am taking common 5 power n so limit n tends to infinity 6 into 3 by 5 whole power n is approaches to 0 that is why it is 0 minus 15 divided by so 2 into 0 plus 3 see 6 into 0 0 minus 15 by 3 that is minus 5 our option is C I'm coming to the last problem suppose f of n plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 into f of n plus 9 by f of n where n belongs to natural numbers if f of n greater than 0 for all m belongs to n then limit n tends to infinity f of n is what so this is a very very interesting problem now what is given value f of n plus 1 equal to 1 by 2 times of f of n plus 9 by f of n now what we need to find limit n tends to infinity f of n so taking limit on both sides what we get limit n tends to infinity f of n plus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 is a constant take it outside limit n tends to infinity times of f of n 
plus 9 by f of m. Okay. See, here n value approaches to infinity. So, if n value approaches to infinity, there is no difference between n plus 1 and n. Okay. That is why as n value approaches to infinity, limit n tends to infinity f of n plus 1 is equal to limit n tends to infinity f of n. So, both are same. For suppose, if these two are is equal to for any uh, let us consider value that is uh, y for suppose, then see y equal to 1 by 2 times of y plus 9 by y. Now, 2y equal to, so take y const, uh, LCM, y square plus 9. Now, 2y square equal to y square plus 9. See what happens? 2y square minus y square. y square equal to 9, y equal to what? Plus or minus 3. So, what is y here? Limit n tends to infinity f of n plus n equal to. It is very very clear that what is the given value f of n is greater than 0 for all n belongs to n. That is why we will take only positive value that is limit n tends to infinity f of n is equal to 3. Why? Because f of n is always greater than 0 for all n belongs to n. It is the given value. That is why we are taking only positive value. Okay, students. In the next video, we will discuss about trigonometric and exponential limits. Okay. Thank you.